Welcome back. The details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi attended the Christmas Mass at the Nativity of the Christ Cathedral in the new administrative capital on the occasion of Christmas. During his speech, President Sisi congratulated Paul Tuadar II, the head of the Egyptian Orthodox Church. The president also congratulated all Egyptians on the occasion. He urged Egyptians to stay united and told them not to be afraid. Earlier, the head of state sent a congratulatory cable to Paul Tuadar on the occasion. President Sisi praised the deeply rooted national unity and ties that bind all Egyptians throughout history. The president also prayed to God Almighty, to Allah, to protect Egypt and to keep the blessing of brotherhood among its peoples, Muslims and Christians. President Sisi also congratulated the Egyptians abroad, marking the occasion, wishing them success and wishing Egypt pro progress and prosperity. President Sisi congratulated the Egyptian people marking Christmas, saying that such an occasion unites all the Egyptians and uh, urging them to feel this sense of belonging to the nation. On his official social media account, President Sisi asserted that the state will continue on the right path of coexistence and national unity. The president also urged the Egyptians to be inspired by the great values of tolerance and forgiveness instilled by Jesus Christ. And to continue with our celebrations and our special coverage to our celebrations of Christmas, Nal TV's correspondent Hani Farah conducted an exclusive interview with Pope Tawadur II, Pope of Alexander and the Patriarch of the Holy Apostolic See of St. Mark on the uh, uh, holy occasion. More of happiness and more of congratulations that Egypt as a whole is sent to the whole world in this Christmas is a happy time sent in the form of the Coptic Church or the dedication in Abbasi. So we have the honor to have Pope Tawadru II of Alexandria. I would like to welcome you, Pope, and um, Merry Christmas. And I uh, would like to welcome you and happy many returns and Merry Christmas to the whole Egypt. And, and uh, uh, assure us about your health. So we thank you, Almighty God, that, uh, that uh, the last week that was in uh, the uh, fatigue and, and uh, lots of movement between Cairo and Alexandria starting from the eve. And uh, as we were fasting, all of this made uh, some sort of uh, um, deterioration and uh, from the um, based on tranquility I would like to go to the hospital for uh, a checkup and would like um, may Allah to preserve your health in such an, uh, a happy times and there are several messages that you are keen to send to the uh, whole country as a start of uh, the new year and they give us uh, hope and wishes uh, for the new eve despite that we hear lots of news economically throughout the world and of course uh, our homeland is included uh, and in the, in the meantime, to the good thing to the visit of Mr. President to the uh, Coptic Orthodox Church and these messages included in tranquility and uh, self-assured uh, good verses understood by the Egyptian people. Uh, and the best thing that they started by thinking that Allah Almighty God is exist and I know that Egypt is lucky and preserved by the Almighty God. Such a visit became a tradition despite the circumstances going through the whole world. A special visit for Mr. President that included several messages that he was very keen to send. And of course, the message of tranquility was the first title of the message and he talked about the officials that know the old matters and we thank the Almighty God that all officials on top of which Mr. President and saying everything to the whole Egypt and nothing to be hidden and this therefore he um, sent messages for the people do not listen to those who do not understand and it was a very important message of tranquility and 
of a very harsh year, but uh, uh, we are in the hands of the Almighty God. Uh, the, the, Pushment and the the acceptance between the religiouses and a word said on your behalf by Mr. President. The whole world is full of religions and the theme of arranging the life of the human and a life of precious to live their life in a good manner. Therefore, <coughs> religious, and if they have some discrepancies as the nature of each religion, this included, but in general, they are all uh, agreed upon on uh, the human uh, principles, the life of the people, the treatment uh, and between the human in uh, 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 honesty and uh, raisement, uh, and that uh, have all the principles in the religion, that they all agreed all together of such an uh, social and the human principles, and of course they do not match uh, as a whole. There are uh, some sort of uh, diversity between them, and uh, Allah is of love to the humanity, send these religions to the human group because we are 8 billion people in the whole world. Yes, it is a mercy, yes, no doubt. One of the messages uh, sent you, uh, Papa, yesterday, how for the human to be fruitful and productive and one of the messages of, of uh, the birth uh, and uh, as all which there is uh, a fruit of a newborn the message sent by the, the Christmas, the Merry Christmas of the uh, Jesus Christ that uh, the human should be fruitful and productive uh, whether they are sons in the body or in uh, the uh, spirit or born uh, by innovations uh, or talents uh, or services. Each one is uh, uh, choose whatever it suits them and start working. And the born, the sons by the body, being raised well, taught well. Hence, the initiative of, of developing the Egyptian family that uh, the limited number of sons they would gain and a great share of. Uh, care and raising but the uh, many numbers uh, if each one have uh, two uh, 100 in, divided by two to be enough for them in, and the same goes if they are a little despite the crisis uh, we, there is solidarity of course there is no doubt many thanks to you pop and uh, uh, we wish the all Egyptians and, and a happy new year for everyone as always we have hope and wishes and our lives in the hands of God. Thank you. Thank you very much. President Abdel Fattah Sisi visited the Nativity Christ Cathedral at the new administrative capital. And to continue with uh, uh, our coverage to what was going on there and the uh, uh, festivities uh, mood, uh, Nal TV's correspondent Basma Taha was there and filed this report regarding the reception of the people of the church to the head of the state who was very keen to congratulate them on the holy occasion. Amid the mood of festivity, President Abdel Fattah Sisi congratulated Egyptians on Christmas at Nativity of Christ Cathedral in the new administrative capital. The president wished the whole world security. Few presidents hailed the wisdom of Pope Tawadros II, Pope of Alexandria, and Patriarch of Sea of St. Mark, who led the Mass at the cathedral. The president added that love for each other must continue without discrimination. He said that Egyptians are united with no form of division. He urged Egyptians not to listen to rumors. The president noted that the state does not hide anything and that the international crisis has a huge impact and that the world would change. في كل مناسبة إن إحنا واحد إحنا واحد إحنا واحد واحد مفيش مفيش أي أي شكل من أشكال التفرقة بيننا ما ينجحش أبدا
We are so happy to attend here uh, and uh, attend this festival uh, with attendance from the, our president. Uh, we wish you uh, and wish you for a uh, whole of world uh, peace for everyone and uh, happy new year for everyone. Despite the cold weather, many high-ranking officials, ambassadors and celebrities were keen to come to send their congratulations to all Egyptians from the Nativity of the Christ Cathedral. The walls of the church were decorated with colors marking the feast and the attendees were singing songs marking Christmas. The organization is really great. Egypt will be the best country in the world. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. I am very happy that President Abdel Fattah Sisi attended the celebration. I wish that the year 2023 will be full of more love and tolerance. Egypt will always be the land of all religions. President Abdel Fattah Sisi has officially inaugurated the Nativity of the Christ Cathedral, the largest cathedral in the Middle East, in 2019. It accommodates more than 8,200 worshippers. Some of the festivities dominating the whole scene here at Nativity of the Christ Cathedral. The whole scene delivers a message which is Egypt is the land of all religions. It embodies the essence of unity, tolerance, and coexistence. May God bless Egypt. Basmataha for Nile TV International. Meanwhile, Egypt's First Lady, Mrs. Intasar Sisi, congratulated the Egyptians on the occasion of Christmas. On her official social media account, First Lady expressed wishes of peace and welfare to the nation on the occasion that unites all Egyptians on the cordiality, the greatest value in the message of Jesus Christ. Dr. Wadros, the head of the Egyptian Orthodox Church, led the Christmas Mass in the Nativity of the Christ Cathedral as the earlier Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli congratulated the Pope during a visit to the papal headquarters in Cairo. The Prime Minister expressed his sincere wishes for the Pope and Egyptian Copts inside the country and abroad. For his part, the Pope thanked the Premier, praising the government's efforts in launching mega national projects in different domains. Speaker of the House of Representatives, uh, Councillor Hanafi al also visited the the papal headquarters to congratulate the Pope. Speaker of the Senate, Councillor Abdel Wahab Abdel Razak, also paid a similar visit to the Pope to congratulate him. Minister of Interior, uh, General Mahmoud Tawfiq, paid another visit to congratulate the Pope and earlier Minister of Defense, um, Lieutenant General Mohammed Zaki, and Armed Forces Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General uh, Osama Askar, paid similar visits to congratulate the Pope on the occasion.